Our Rugby World Cup memory this week takes us back to 1987 and the first African nation to take part in the tournament. It was an amazing experience for us, um, especially being a, a small country like Zim. You know, we played teams like Portugal, Italy, Spain, and we'd beaten all those sort of teams. But the opportunity to go to a World Cup, the first uh, as well, the inaugural World Cup, was an amazing experience for us. It is the pinnacle of anyone's career and obviously very exciting and quite overwhelming to be honest to come from quite a, a landlocked sheltered place where we, uh, to go to the Mecca as far as in those days maybe even now of rugby for me um, was just a dream come true for me. It was it was a good competitive side that we took to uh, New Zealand I thought it was a good side and um, yeah we played decent rugby um, we just didn't have we picked from 35 players uh, countrywide. Uh, there were more than that in the team that we trained with, Batoni and Wellington. Uh, so it's hard to compete when you've got that few players, yeah. Our first match was actually in Auckland. Um, it was against Romania. And uh, that was a, a great experience for us. Again, to come out to watch Romania and Zimbabwe, we didn't know what response we'd have, but it was, uh, surprisingly quite a, a big crowd um, because the New Zealanders just loved their rugby and they, came, they watched every game. There was crowds at every game. Well taken by Brown, cut out his opposite man, the new fella on the field, Eon. Zimba, now there's room here for Richard Zimba and there's the overlap. Zimba on his own. Oh, lovely stuff. Can he get there? What a try! Richard, we call him Dick, was, was an incredibly talented player. He could run, he was fast, he could tackle and uh, great vision. He was, a, he was a great player. We surprised the, the rugby world to an extent because we nearly beat Romania. We lost in the dying minutes, actually, uh, by a couple of points. So uh, that was a great experience for us. Zimbabwe then faced Scotland and eventual finalists, France. They hammered us, yeah, they did. But it was a great experience to be involved in something like that. And, it, and it's only at the World Cup that you can get to play and rub shoulders with people like that and the others that were there. The boost that the World Cup gave to us was incredible. 